Today is April 29th, the Feast of St. Peter of Verona, Martyr. And the readings are from his feast. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the second letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to Timothy. Be mindful that the Lord Jesus Christ is risen again from the dead of the seed of David, according to my gospel, wherein I labor even unto bands as an evildoer, but the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with heavenly glory. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, patience, persecutions, afflictions, such as came upon me at Antioch, at Iconium, and at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, and out of them all the Lord delivered me. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Deo gratias. A continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Gloria tibi Domine. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he will take away, and every one that beareth fruit, he will purge it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean by reason of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abide in the vine, so neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same will beareth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If any one abide not in me, he shall be cast forth as a branch, and shall wither, and they shall gather him up and cast him into the fire and he burneth. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask whatever you will, and it shall be done unto you. Laus tibi Christe. <laughs>